Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and I think it is time to talk about 3D backgrounds. Are they really worth the money? So if you've been watching the channel for a while, about three years ago we started installing some 3D backgrounds in some of our aquariums. The 40 gallon breeders, we've got three of them there. We've got one in a 20 gallon high and another one in a 20 gallon long. Now we happen to get these 3D backgrounds from Universal Rocks. We're not sponsored by Universal Rocks. We paid full price for our backgrounds. So there's no connection there with the company. The question is after three years, were they really worth the money? Let's take a closer look. All right, so I think one of the obvious things, one of the reasons why people would buy a 3D background, the good, if you will, well, they look great. And I think that's the number one reason why people would be interested in a 3D background. They're going to give you something to look at in your aquarium that's going to set your fish tank apart from other tanks. That 3D background gives a more natural look in many cases, and they look very realistic, at least the ones that we bought. I think they look really good. And what's cool about these 3D backgrounds is they come in multiple types. You can get a rock background, you can get one that's a little bit more flat, not as 3D, especially important if you've got a smaller aquarium, different colors, and so you have a lot of options there. And as you can see in these aquariums, they really set these aquariums off, they make them look a little bit nicer. The second thing that we're discovering is these 3D backgrounds last a long time. Again, it's been about actually three and a half years since we've installed these backgrounds. And what I can say is they look just as good now as they did when we first installed them. And so that's great. The last thing you wanna do is install one of these backgrounds and within a couple years have to take it out again because it's falling apart or it's not looking good, it's losing its color. That hasn't been the case here. Now there are some other considerations to make before you spend the money on a 3D background. Before we get into that, I wanted to remind you that we are partnered with Amazonas Magazine. This is by far the highest quality magazine in fish keeping, if not all the magazines that we subscribe to. It's really, really high quality, very good pictures, really well written by experts in the field. Again, we have a partnership with Amazonas. This one that's come out, they're doing awesome articles on how to breed certain types of tetras, how to breed quarry cats. They actually interview someone who has a full line of freshwater stingray. This is a great magazine. Again, there's a special offer in the description if you want to check it out, save you a little bit of money. This is a great magazine. Okay, now, things you need to consider if you're looking at a 3D background. Thing number one, and this is something that Joanna brought up a while back and I didn't fully appreciate it at first. She thinks that the 3D backgrounds might be a little limiting in terms of your aquascape. So once you settle on a 3D background, once you settle on a color, well, it's in there, right? So you've You've got this thing in your aquarium, so if you do what we did over here with the multi-tank, which is now a holding tank, you've got that gray rock 3D background. If you want to change that up, well, it's going to be a little bit harder. If you want to go the new field, that's probably not going to happen as easily when you've got that thing in your aquarium. Something else to consider if you add a 3D background to your aquarium, if your fish are smart and you're trying to catch them, they're going to figure out in a hurry, all they have to do is hide in between the crevices of that 3D background, and that could cause some headaches. Now for us, the mistake that I've made, again, is the tank that is in the far right-hand corner over here. We are starting to use that for quarantine. We're gonna switch that up at some point and get that back into a more of a display tank, but it was really difficult catching some fish out of there when they would hide in the 3D background, kind of under the rocks, the fake rocks, and it made it really difficult to get those fish out. Now these have worked out really well for us because all the aquariums that they're in right now have sponge filters and so we're not having to worry about hang on back filters or returns or intakes for canister filters or sumps. If you have that going on then you're going to have to do a little bit more customization to your 3D background. You're going to have to do some more measurements to make sure that whatever filter you have in the aquarium is going to be able to fit with the background that you choose. And so just keep that in mind if you're using hang on back filters, canister filters, You've got the tank is drilled. You're gonna to have to do a little bit more work making sure that you get the water movement that you need for your 3D background. Something else to consider with your 3D background, if your tank is already up and running, you're gonna to have to break it down. It's just the way it's gonna to have to be. Although the 3D backgrounds look like rock and they look heavy, they are not. They're actually very light and they will float, which means for us in all cases, we broke down the tanks where the 3D backgrounds were gonna be installed cleaned them out completely, made sure we had a nice clean surface in the back of the tank so we could silicone the background to the tank. And then once you do that 
and you add in your substrate, that is going to be more than sufficient to keep that background in place for the life of your aquarium. But just keep in mind, if the tank is running, you've got a lot of work to do because you're going to have to break that tank down. And of course, the thing you've probably been wondering and the thing I've saved for last, cost. These things are relatively expensive. Again, we got ours from Universal Rocks. There are other companies out there like Aqua Decor. I'm sure there are others out there as well besides those two, but they do cost a fair amount of money. My personal feeling is you get what you pay for. A 3D background that is going to last a long time, that's gonna look realistic, it's gonna be high quality, you're probably gonna pay a little bit more money. How much money? Well, for the 40 gallon breeders here, again, it's been a little while, it's been about three and a half years, they were over $200 each. Now that's for the 3D. For the 20 gallon high and the 20 gallon long, it was more of just a flat piece that was textured. Those were far cheaper. And so keep that in mind. If you just want a little bit of an interesting look, a textured look to your background, and you don't want a 3D background with all the fake looking rocks, you can save a lot of money. However, in either case, you are gonna be spending money. And on the 3D ones, you're gonna be spending potentially a lot of money. If you wanted to outfit, let's say a four foot tank, like a 55 or a 75, you could easily be spending $300 or more. Also keep in mind that if your tank is more narrow, these 3D backgrounds are probably not a good option. So although I just mentioned the 55, that would be one where I would do a textured background but I don't think I would do the 3D background where the rocks are popping out of the back because you're only dealing with a 12 and a half inch wide tank to begin with. And so if you have a very narrow tank, the 3D backgrounds may not be for you. Okay, so overall, final thoughts, we're gonna add more. And so I really like the way these things look. I like the fact that it just kind of ups our game in terms of the feel of the aquarium and the aquascape. And so as we continue to do the gallery on the other side, we are definitely going to be looking at adding 3D backgrounds to some of these larger tanks. Would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Have you used them? Did you like them? Did you not like them? Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one.